Hello everyone, my name is Putty and welcome back for another Fallout New Vegas video. Today bringing you some footage from the Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts DLC expansion package. Uh, today we're going to be showing you the unique service rifle, which I believe is called the Survivor's Rifle. Uh, it is located on an unmarked location that does have a map marker, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, the, uh, the location, once you find it, has a map marker but it won't appear as an empty map marker on your compass. So you'll have to find it either by looking up on the high mountains or by following this walkthrough, which if you're watching this video, I guess you will be able to follow this walkthrough. So if you check back the map, like I just showed you, you can check where to put your way waypoint or it's when I get to the location of the rifle, I show my location again. So you can put your map, mar uh, map marker to exactly where you find the rifle. Anyway, onwards. This uh, rifle is a unique service rifle, as I already said. It fires 12.7mm pistol ammunition rather than the service rifle, which fires 5.56mm um, rifle ammo. So um, the, it is considerably more powerful. It's a 10 round magazine and it uh, is semi automatic, just like the service rifle. It's just got, I think it's a lower magazine size than the service rifle, but. It is um, it is higher damage and uh, it's it's really great gun. It's um, it's it's one of the highlights of the package actually because it looks pretty cool. Honestly, said 12.7 millimeter ammo isn't actually got that many uses, but uh, now it has. Blah, blah, blah. So here it is. I'm just gonna give you a few surroundings, but uh, that bag there is. Uh, where you find the survivor's rifle or something or whatever. There's a backstory to it, I guess I could give you No, I don't I, I I read a few of the notes but I'm not sure about the full backstory to it so I couldn't really tell you but if you got the expansion pack you um you can find the notes yourself to find out what the survivor was doing here. So if you look over there actually something I found is there's a plane. Crashed plane. That's um, one of the Ranger substations I just showed as well. So there go there I am on the map. You can go ahead and check this if you want, but uh, yeah, onwards for great justice, I guess. Um, so here it is, the survivalist, the, the survivalist duffel bag. He's got a lot of good goodies, a good goodies with them, not there. Goodies in this bag, including some vodka and what his last note, which is the year 2124, which is the last year he was here. Right. Sorry, my computer just suddenly sped up, so you may have just heard a noise. <laughs> Survivalist rifle, there it is. And there it is. Pretty cool, desert-ish camel. It's um, it really is good. It blends into the background of this little area. Um, I, I'd like to give a little bit of some thoughts on the DLC as a whole. The DLC is really cool, and that was again rhyming. I really love the DLC, the weapons in it are really really cool, um, but the thing I really 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 love about this DLC is um, the open endedness in it really, it's, it's not, I guess I kind of stressed that point a bit too much, but I really do like this DLC, it's, um, it's shorter than Dead Money, it's way shorter, I mean the main quests are, but at the same time it's more, I guess if you want to compare this to the Fallout 3 DLCs, I would compare this to Point Lookout. Because you can just come back here and explore to your will and oh, yeah. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the weapon I'm showing in this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Lost guide on Fallout New Vegas I did, which my dead money helped escape the vault. As you can see, there is some writing on the side of that weapon. But yeah, the last video I did was how to escape the vault with all 37 gold bars, and that got a ton of views and a ton of likes. So. If you could do the same for this one, that would be greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I've got some more Fall of New Vegas unique weapon guides coming up soon. Um, with all the DLCs that come out as well as some of the other ones. I never really got into Fallout or, well, Fall of New Vegas early. I did love the other Fallouts. It's just I wasn't really too keen on getting New Vegas that much. So I actually waited a month before grabbing it. So I'm a little late to the unique weapon party. But I will get them up eventually. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later.